Adam and Eve were in the garden in perfect relationship with God. Both of them made choices that made them fall out of that relationship. In result of that came shame because anytime that we do things that separate us from God, we become ashamed of ourselves, not because of God, but because of Satan's lies about those things. So in their shame, Adam and Eve, took leaves started trying to <laughs> started trying to cover their sin and <laughs> and it wasn't enough this is what we are trying when we sin separate ourselves from God make choices we know hurt our relationship with a loving father and Refuse to ask for forgiveness, refuse to be vulnerable with God, refuse to let him wash it, refuse to expose it and put it in front of him. We're, we're taking this and, and trying to patch up things on ourselves and cover our wounds and cover our sins and cover these wrongdoings. And um, since the beginning, this has never been enough. And so what God did then was he took the blood of his son, Jesus, and washed those wounds, washed those choices, washed those stains away from us. And so what my encouragement would be to you is to be completely exposed, raw and vulnerable before God. Get rid of this attempt of, you know, what we do is we, we, we perfect ourselves up we polish ourselves before man and somehow we think that that makes us clean before God and it's not so when we become clean before God is when we remove these and then there's this huge exposure of our wrongdoing before him there's this nakedness and then God can then touch that naked place and begin to heal us what I'm saying is stop hiding stop hiding your wounds behind ghetto band-aids that don't work um, band-aids that don't work and let the blood of Jesus come and wash you by exposing yourself, exposing your sin and your vulnerability before God and asking for his help.